everyone. Thank you for joining us for this webinar. My name is Omar from Stonefly and joining me for this webinar is Kais Nuri. Uh, in this webinar, we'll be discussing how you can reduce the cost of data storage uh, and uh, data retention, long-term data retention, and uh, how one of Stonefly's products, Stonefly Smart Cloud Gateway, enables you to leverage legacy infrastructure and integrate cloud technology like Azure or AWS or any other S3 compatible cloud for um, data storage, backup, or archiving. Before we indulge into the details of this webinar, uh, I'd like to introduce Stonefly. Stonefly offers storage, backup, and disaster recovery solutions that are both that are in the form of on-premises infrastructure, or that we also offer solutions in the cloud. Uh, we pioneered the creation, development, and deployment of the iSCSI storage protocol and products. Stonefly has patents certified by United States Patent and Trademark Office. Uh, these are the patent numbers of our patents. Our solutions are deployed in all Microsoft commercial and government data centers worldwide. This enables Stonefly's customers to choose from Azure data centers around the globe. Stonefly products have been deployed on U.S. Navy Littoral Combat Ships, uh, LCS, and Virginia-class nuclear submarines. Stonefly is a member of Storage Networking Industry Association, CINA, the founding member of the I IP Storage Institute, IPSI, a VMware TAP Elite Partner, a VMware Professional Solution Provider, a certified Microsoft Azure Marketplace Partner, Microsoft Cloud Solution Provider, CSP, Amazon Technology Partner, Weems Technology Partner, Weems Cloud Service Part Provider, and Weems Alliance Partner. For this webinar, uh, the flow that, that we'll follow will be as follows. Uh, legacy infrastructure, with the shortcomings of legacy infrastructure, the costs uh, of using legacy infrastructure and the considerations of it. After that, I'll introduce Stonefly Smart Cloud Gateway, how it enables you to uh, set up uh, um, data storage in the cloud or integrate cloud technology with your existing infrastructure. Uh, and then I'll uh, touch in depth about the working of Stonefly Smart Cloud Gateway. Uh, from then on, Kais will take over and he'll discuss the use cases of Stonefly Smart Cloud Gateway. And finally, he will conclude with the main features of Stonefly Smart Cloud Gateway. So when we, dis when we look at legacy infrastructure, what comes to mind is uh, physical infrastructures or servers. But the fact of the matter is it's far more bigger than what we imagine. It's, it, it comprises of operating power, it, it needs staff time, needs library maintenance, and apart from the legacy infrastructure itself, it also demands off-site archive service. When you're using legacy infrastructure and you're continuously generating data, eventually you run out of space or you use too much uh, uh, on-prem uh, systems. So you have to move some of that data somewhere. And in those instances, in some uh, cases, people move their data to, to off-site uh, archives. Uh, there are um, other, uh, other or remote branches where they have set up infrastructure, and they move those uh, no longer needed, but still they, uh, they have to retain that data, so they use off-site archive service. But this isn't generally applicable, this isn't always applicable, but generally this is the use case. This is what happens, so it's usually the case. So in summary, what legacy infrastructure uh, incurs is high capex cost when you obtain it, and uh, then opex costs as you run it. And similarly, maintenance costs uh, as you uh, there are routine maintenance, and then you have uh, hardware failures or power failures. When a, when a server fails, it's disruptive. It incurs additional costs for, for whatever services you acquire to fix it. Uh, it Usually, legacy infrastructure are difficult to scale. When you need additional storage space, then you have to stop processes. You have to add additional servers. It, it, it takes time. It takes resources. And sometimes some legacy infrastructure don't accommodate scalability. And if you do manage to scale out, then it's complex to manage. It results in a complex IT system. And when you need a specific 
file or mission critical data, then it, it's a difficult endeavor. For legacy infrastructure, you have to have trained staff, people who are used to the infrastructure, its protocols, its use cases. Uh, and um, because of the complexity and the vulnerabilities of legacy infrastructure, complying to industry regulations is always a challenge. Without uh, a standard protocols or without standard tools, uh, legacy infrastructure always uh, proved to be a difficult integration whenever you're talking in terms of compliance. That, that this applies to government service providers or to service providers who have to adhere to certain uh, industry regulations such as HIPAA, um, High Trust for Healthcare, or uh, CJS for law enforcement. Kais was also, well, he will also discuss more compliance uh, uh, standards later on during this webinar. So, what is Stonefly Smart Cloud Gateway? Well, in essence, it's uh, it can be a virtual appliance or it can be a physical on-prem appliance. It's available. It's available in both forms. It sits between your storage resources and cloud technology. Like Microsoft Azure, Amazon, or S3. So, what you you can use Stonefly Smart Cloud Gateway to set up policy-based cloud gateway services, and you can choose the cloud that you need to add in scalability, data redundancy, uh, or to integrate it for archival purposes. Because it's um, archiving it needs a lot of space, TBs or petabytes of data, and Maintaining that on on-premise structure is uh, more uh, costly and uh, it's inefficient. So for cloud, cloud integration, all you have to do is set up a virtual or a hardware appliance between your legacy infrastructure and it enables you to set up repositories that can be mapped with cloud technology and the cloud of your choice. So. Um, Stonefly, as I said, Smart Cloud Gateway can be commissioned as an on-premises appliance. It supports any operating system, Microsoft or Linux. It supports its uh, SIFS or SMB connection for Microsoft workloads or any other uh, work operating system that supports SIFS and SMB. And it supports NFS for a Linux operating system or any other NFS-oriented operating systems. Uh, it, Whatever infrastructure that you have, for it enables you to add cloud technology to it. it um, you can set up uh, Microsoft Azure. You can set up AWS S3. You can set up uh, Stonefly's S3 compatible cloud or any other S3 compatible cloud. You can also integrate existing infrastructure. Now this can be infrastructure in your office, this can be a local archive appliance, or this can be remote archive appliance that is available in another remote uh, location. You can set up user-based policies which define certain thresholds that determines where your data goes. Uh, uh, what you can do with on-premises Stonefly Cloud Gateway or the virtual appliance is you can create volumes and assign them to any application or server or, or IT uh, file server running in your IT environment and you can map these volumes as storage repositories to those applications. Now these volumes they can be mounted as local volumes and then when, what your policies do is they determine how these storage repositories move your data to the cloud. Uh, for instance, uh, there are two types of policies that users can define. Uh, one is age-based policy that determines uh, where your data goes based on the date of creation. The second is the frequency of access-based policy. Uh, this determines the this uses comparison comparative analysis on files. For instance, there's one file that's uh, lately not being accessed, but let's say it it was created. Uh, regardless of the date of creation, it, it was um, first accessed more and now it's no longer relevant so it isn't being accessed uh, relatively. So what, what you're, uh, when the, a certain user-defined threshold is met, it moves automatically, the cloud gateway moves it from the on-premises appliance to uh, 
whether a cloud tier or uh, or a remote uh, archive appliance or to a local archive appliance or you can also commission it to move it to Stonefly cloud the uh, Stonefly smart cloud gateway uh, uh, the virtual appliance can be integrated in VMware or Hyper-V environments and uh, it comes with two licensing options you can have a NAS uh, license or you can have a iSCSI SAN license the appliance comes with iSCSI initiators you can set up iSCSI targets uh, and integrate them with your existing uh, um, cloud gateway so what it does is it, it, it integrates the iSCSI uh, targets with the cloud of your choice or with the appliance of your choice and it sits in the middle and facilitates data tiering or storage tiering uh, based off of the age-based policy or the access-based policy. So, uh, what what can you integrate with Stonefly Smart Cloud Gateway? You can integrate Microsoft Azure, commercial or government, AWS S3, S3IA, or any other S3 compatible cloud. This enables you to reduce the overall carbon footprint of your uh, uh, IT systems. It enables you to reduce the cost of data storage, data retention, and it enables you to comply to a number of industry standards because the application of Stormfly Smart Cloud Gateway include storage, backup, and archiving. You can, you can have a multi-cloud setup. For instance, here you can have a, an archival cloud, you can have a Stormfly cloud, you can have a local archive cloud, what you can do is have one setup for uh, um, for backups and the other you can create copies in another similar cloud or in another uh, data center. You can also set up uh, replication policies based off of your uh, available bandwidth. You can choose to have synchronous replication and replicate to an off-site uh, archive appliance or you can have asynchronous replication and have uh, data moved at certain instances that you that is in accordance to your available bandwidth so uh, from here on Kais will take over and he'll explain what exactly policy based storage tiering is and what are the use cases of Stonefly Smart Cloud Gateway so Kais over to you um, thank you Mayor so uh, let's uh, go maybe uh, and inside the policy-based storage gateway tiering. So when we talk about policy-based storage gateway tiering, it's basically two types of tiering. You can either tier your appliance into uh, SaaS and SSD. Like if you have an appliance, which is a hybrid appliance, it has SaaS drives, which are magnetic drives, a bit slow, but much cheaper. And it has SSD drives, which are flash based storage, they're a bit expensive, but they're extremely fast. So what you can do with this gateway, you can configure tiering inside your appliance so that the files which are frequently used or the files which are uh, which needs more uh, computer or other stuff can be on uh, SSD tier, while the files which are least used or they are files that do not need to be on SSD tier are sent to magnetic tier. That you can get the maximum performance for the files and for the computer. Uh, well, this is one use case where you can do inside your appliance, but if you have files which are old and which are not being used uh, for years, like they are in your appliance, but they are not accessed, so you can move those files from your on prem appliances to cloud of your choice. Depending on the policy you define, it can either go to an archival tier where it will stay forever. It can go to a cold tier or it can go to a hot tier. You can also configure the same tiering which you did on your on-premise appliance in the cloud so that your cloud um, must go first to the hot tier. And when it gets older, it goes to cold tier and it, with, it gets even more older. It will go to the archival tier and will stay there uh, so that it costs you less. The overall setup, overall storage and this policy helps you to get better performance and lower costs it will reduce your uh, data center and management costs and it will also need it doesn't require any IT stuff 
for doing it once you set up the policies it will be done automatically that's why that's how the policy based clearing uh, works so um, now we're gonna talk about three of the use cases about this smart cloud gateway so uh, we talk about in general uh, it can be used as a um, storage a storage setup for you. You can set it up as a backup and disaster recovery. You can set it up for archiving. We will go through each of them in deep. And because of its smart nature, it's quick and efficient working. Uh, it can be used in IoT, in the Internet of Things, uh, to uh, integrate your IoT devices with the cloud. It's best for video surveillance because uh, most of the companies. As for the only business need, need to keep uh, their surveillance videos for years. And there are huge files, so they can move them to an archive tier where they can stay uh, and they can reduce their costs. Same as with the health um, and health related organizations, they also need to say retention policies for finance or any industry uh, which needs retention or which needs to integrate their services with cloud or who needs to have a secondary data storage repository, they can use this uh, smart cloud gateway and uh, uh, like enjoy the enterprise level services of this. Uh, gateway. So, uh, when we talk about storage, uh, when you set it up as a storage for you, you can either use it as a, a completely on-prem, uh, by computing Turing, or you can do a hybrid, or you can set it up a completely in cloud. So whatever you do from these three, uh, or you can do multi-cloud as well, whatever you do, uh, you'll get an unlimited file, uh, file size. There will be no limitations on file size, no limitation on bandwidth. You'll get a great file size and bandwidth uh, for you. You, do not, you won't be limited to any, uh, um, limitations that your vendor imposes on you and optimizes your data transfer rates so that you can transfer your data at a very high and good speed uh, and it's highly scalable and very easy to scale and by scaling up your performances increase because if you uh, scale out or if you scale up you increase the performance and capacity of your uh, storage and it's just a few clicks you just uh, you can move from um, petabytes to terabytes or from terabytes to petabytes and seconds and it's very easy to scale and if you want to set it up as backup and disaster recovery solution so uh, you can get uh, off-site backup for your um, on uh, for your uh, enterprise you can back up your files either to Microsoft Azure Blob storage uh, AWS S3 or any other S3 compatible cloud. You can also do it to Stonefly Private Cloud, uh, which is a very secure cloud. Um, one of the best benefits of this gateway is that it's a data transfer and the transferring of files is completely encrypted. It's encrypted with AES 256 bit encryption uh, policies. So uh, your data is protected during transition and at rest. Um, you can set up automatic tierings between multi clouds, like you can use uh, um, different storage tiers, like you can use hot tier for your uh, uh, frequent use, frequently used data. You can use cold tier for infrequently used data, and you can go to uh, other uh, tiers as well to recover here on any uh, other cloud you want. Uh, for backup and disaster recovery, you can integrate this gateway to your backup software. Any mainstream backup software, for example, you can integrate it with Veeam and start writing to Azure Blob Storage or to AWS. You can set up over uh, these backups for Veritas, for Commvault, or any other um, backup software. And uh, it's not basically hardware dependent that you should. Uh, it must be installed on our uh, servers, uh, Stormfly servers. You can install it on. Uh, mainstream servers like EMC, Dell, and HPE. So you can install it on those servers. It's hardware independent. If you get it as an, um, uh, so a virtual appliance, you can install it 
saver or any appliance. And if you don't want to install it on your uh, appliance, you can get a plug and play appliance from us. And uh, it's, uh, our appliances are compatible with uh, different hardware. So it will work with your infrastructure even if you're not using Stormfly appliances. Uh, well, here comes the uh, one of the best use cases, the reason why uh, it's very unique. Um, archiving in the cloud or archiving to another data center or to a remote location uh, is a very uh, heavy task for everyone because you need to set up everything. You need to maintain two data centers, one for your production and one for the archiving. But with this smart cloud gateway, you just have to define the policies and it will archive your files automatically to uh, Microsoft Azure Cloud, Amazon Web Services, uh, Amazon S3, uh, to um, Phonefly Private Cloud, or any other remote uh, uh, appliance or remote archive appliance. So all you have to do is set up policies based on file type, based on file age, or based on file uh, uh, last use or file using frequency. You can set them up and uh, this um, smart gateway will be uh, based on your policy. It will send them to the cloud of your choice and you'll get archiving automatically. And you can keep your data in archive for long years um, and this will lower down your COPEX and OPEX costs. And you'll also meet the retention policies. Well, uh, uh, as per today, different industries need different uh, regulations to comply with. Uh, if you are going to cloud, if you're a government agency, or if you're a health organization, a financial institution, or whatever industry you are, uh, you need to be compliant with different solutions. So uh, you can integrate some like cloud gateway uh, and uh, get compliance as well. Uh, if you, uh, it's compliant with HIPAA, it's compliant with Spectrum, it's CGI is compliant, it's FDA um, compliant, it's compliant with uh, many different uh, compliances. You can go to our website and uh, visit uh, the compliance page and you'll see the uh, all long list of compliances. We mostly comply with all of the organizations, uh, all of the industries. Uh, if you're a federal government agency or a federal government uh, organization, Spectrum, uh, they must be federal compliant, so this solution is federal compliant. For health organizations, this solution is HIPAA compliant. For people who work with criminal and uh, with justice, criminal justice, and um, work with body worn cameras or uh, with uh, stuff which are related to judiciary, it's CGIS compliant. So um, it's compliant with almost every industry, either government or private. So you can just uh, set up the solution and get compliance for the industry. Okay, well, let's just uh, quickly um, sum up the features which we had. Um, first of all, was the policy-based queuing. The policies are defined by the user. Whatever policy you like, you wanna keep files based on their age, based on their frequent access, or both. Uh, for example, there are some files in your uh, data center or on your appliance which are not being used much, but uh, they are old, but they are being used. So you don't want to move them to the archive cloud. So these uh, policies will keep uh, your files based on uh, like uh, two or three policies. You can configure them. So if your file gets old, but it's being used, it will stay on your appliance. But if file is old and file is not being used, you will go to the uh, cloud or uh, archive or wherever you want to send it. Um, secondly, it's, uh, your data is completely encrypted uh, with 256-bit AES encryption protocols. Your data is encrypted during transition and at rest. It gives you protection from all types of uh, attacks that can steal your um, data or outreaches. So it's completely secure, uh, you can set it up to do sync and async replications, either to an, any other appliance, to an archive appliance, or to cloud. So you can set it up for a replication to get an exact copy of your data 
somewhere else. So you can do mirroring with this uh, appliance to any cloud or any appliance. Uh, one thing to mention here is that uh, you can configure this replication uh, to similar uh, hardware as well. Like if you have different hardware or from different vendors or anything, you can uh, set up replication on them as well. Uh, for backup um, features, it gives you snapshots. It offers you image bits based snapshots that you can uh, use them to retrieve your data and do back snapshots if uh, and, uh, uh, something comes out or there's a data outreach or anything. You can uh, be secure with the snapshots. It's simple to use because it's all completely GUI based infrastructure. All you have to do is few clicks. No knowledge of coding is needed for this. Uh, once you set it up, it's just click and nothing else. Um, you can bypass all the limits that is imposed by vendors. For example, Azure Blob Storage have four TB file size um, limitations, but most of the backup files go larger than that because um, nowadays people are creating more data and backing them up in a single file makes it a large file, a huge file. So you can, by, without these uh, solution, without Stormfly Cloud Gateway, it's not possible to put that single file to Azure. So you have to break it down. But with this gateway, you can make huge uh, volumes and uh, bypass these uh, file size limitations and upload files of up to five petabytes to the cloud. Um, you can also set up multi-cloud storage so that if you want to use two clouds for redundancy, one private cloud or one public cloud, or you want to do a, uh, get two copies of your data into different clouds or with two different accounts. For example, if you have two AWS accounts and you want to back up your data to both of them, or you want to do a, a smart peering to all these two um, Clouds. You can do it with this uh, cloud. You can do hybrid and public cloud. You can do private and public cloud. So it offers you multi-cloud solution where uh, there's no vendor locking and full control of your data uh, with you. I think that's the end of the webinar. Um, if you have any questions, you can uh, call us at uh, the given phone number, or you can send us an email. We'll get back to you with your questions. Uh, if you have any, uh, Omar, would you like to add something to this? Yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, we do have one question. Uh, the question is, uh, what kind of data services do you get if you set up an on-premises uh, cloud gateway. So would you like to take that question or do you want me to answer that question? Uh, no, I'll answer it. Well, uh, it depends on uh, which license you're getting. If you get a NAS license for this gateway, uh, you get data services like uh, uh, encryption, uh, you get data services like encryption, replication, uh, snapshots, and uh, things like that all NAS features. If you get a SCSI license for this, you'll get data services like uh, uh, deduplication, uh, you'll get data services like um, in provisioning, quick provisioning, and um, uh, you'll get encryption, you get replication, sync and async replications, uh, you get storage tiering data services, and all uh, these types of services which you want. Okay. Uh, it's I available. Think, sorry. Two licenses. SAN, uh, which is iSCSI, and it's available in NAS, which is uh, uh, cloud based storage. So you can get any two licenses, and with both of them, you get uh, all the data services of these two uh, modes of storage. Exactly. Uh, so we don't have any more questions, uh, questions for now. Do you want to wait for more questions? Well, um, I think we are running uh, out of time because we are uh, we have just uh, it was for thirty minutes and we used uh, our time. So, if anyone have uh, questions, 
they can just send us an email and we'll be back as soon as we can. Uh, yeah. So um, you can send us an email at uh, sales at stonefly.com or you can also send us an email at qnuri that's q n double o r i at stonefly.com. Uh, we'll get to your email promptly. We'll also be able to blog about this webinar. Sorry, Morris, on your voice. Uh, there's a line. Okay now. Yes. Sir. Okay. So we'll be uploading a blog about this webinar, and we'll be facilitating any questions if they're asked. Uh, we'll also be explaining a bit more uh, about Stonefly Smart Cloud Gateway in the uh, blog, and we'll also be uploading a recording of this webinar to our YouTube channel. So do subscribe to that channel. Uh, we have a lot of content for our, our products. Uh, you can introduce you can introduce yourself to uh, any of Stonefly's products. Uh, Guys, do you want to add anything to the to the webinar? Uh, I think we uh, have uh, everything, and if there's any question, we can answer them to their email. Uh, that's all from my side. Okay. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us for this webinar. It was a pleasure presenting Stonefly Smart Smart Cloud Gateway to you. Uh, uh, goodbye. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you.